Welcome back to the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase. It's the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic 15th anniversary here at Springfield College inside Blake Arena as we get set for game number four, Chino Hills and High Point Christian. But before we play game number four, we'll take a look back at our highlights from the first three games. Hi, Mike Cousins, glad to be with you. In game number one, most impressive player to me, Jason Tatum. Number two player in the class, scored 40 points and almost hit a three-pointer to send the game into double overtime. He's going to Duke next year. Matt Schick, how about you? Well, the law of averages kind of kicked in. We had such a great game with Jason Tatum in that first game, went to overtime. Oak Hill Academy had no issues with modern day. Braxton Key had no issues offensively. 16 points, 14 rebounds. He's number 66 overall in our ESPN 100, and he is headed to Alabama. Avery Johnson had to be smiling watching his action today. Paul Biancardi, what'd you see? Matt, I'm going to go with the underclassman, Simi Shitu from Mount Verde, a beast in the paint and at the rim. This underclassman could be ranked as soon as next week. Jeff Goodman, what do you got? Well, silence for now, but we'll check in with Jeff coming up in just a little bit. Let's take a look at our starting lineups that are brought to you by ARS here in game number four. Along with Bam Adebayo, number six in the country, keep an eye on Ty Graves, the former Montverde guard. It's the brothers' ball, Lonzo Lamello and Leangelo, and Elijah Scott and Onyeka Okangwu in the front court for Chino Hills. The number one team in the country against High Point Christian. At center court, Okangwu up against Adebayo. Chino Hills in the white, and High Point Christian in the navy blue. Here we go, game number four from Hoop Hall 2016. Adebayo right now, hanging out on the baseline. Imagine he'll be a focal point of this offense for the High Point Christian Cougars. Mike, I'm gonna give you an X factor for High Point. Number 11, Michael Hewitt, right there in the corner. A deadly three-point shooter was the MVP of the high school overtime invitational in Raleigh, North Carolina. I witnessed him shoot over 50% in three games. First try for Chino Hills. Surprise, it's a three off the mark from LaMelo Ball, the freshman, and the rebound for Elijah Scott. Oh, it's going to be a game of outside versus inside. Third Graves with a miss. And a touchdown pass going for LaMelo Ball. Now into the lane. And the lane is good for Okamu. With the football analogy, a touchdown pass by Lonzo Ball. They understand the value of passing the basketball, moving the basketball much faster than the dribble. Into the lane, and it's two for Ben Robertson. Here comes High Point Christian, down by one. Drive in the lane, and the floater good for Mikhail Seals. Mello just turned 14 in August and has played 17 and under AAU ball with his brothers. They all play on the same team, not affiliated with any shoe company, since age 11, under 17 hoops. Leangelo ball knocks down the three. Let's change as they get older. They clean up their game. Drop off to the post for Adebayo, swatted away by Lonzo Ball. The idea is to become more efficient. Ty Graves, he's it from three. Front iron miss, Adebayo the rebound. A spin to his left, and a finish with the right to... Contact on a three-point try. Michael Hewitt, Jr. And here at Blake Arena, Mike Cousins, Paul B. and Cardi. We got a treat here, two top 15 players. And Bam Adebayo headed to Kentucky next year, one of the biggest, strongest guys in high school hoops. Bam Adebayo reminds me of a young Dwight Howard, physically imposing in the paint and at the rim. Just watch his hands, the ability to catch that pass, gather, go strong to the rim. Nobody's going to stop Bam. He knows where he's best in the paint, the catch, the gather, and the finish. He tries to go through you or over you. And this is just a highlight waiting to happen. But Bam Adebayo can score against a set defense, and he has outstanding footwork. Didn't think we could do it, but we left you speechless earlier, Jeff Goodman. You did, but you know what? Bam Adebayo said earlier today, he played against his Chino Hills team, 
And you know what? They're fun to watch when you're watching them, but they are not fun to play against. Those were Bam's words, and you know what? It doesn't look much fun to play against, but I love watching them. Yeah, but how do you defend that out of bio drive in the lane? You don't want to stand in front of it. He had his man pinned under the basket and the instincts to throw it out. We're sitting right behind Lee Angelo Ball, who hits that three. He's verbally committed to UCLA. Oh, I love his offensive confidence, don't get me wrong. But he's got to learn what a good shot's going to be. And a bio, a beautiful wraparound pass, and a lay-in for Jalen Seegers. Well out of the post. Look at the instincts. At the rim, he feels the double team, could have dunked it, threw it out for an assist. And the short interior passing by Bing. Tremendous hands, secure hands. Reese Bogan, another three. And he played 13 in the blue, headed to Kentucky. Six points now for Bogan, two of two from three. There's been a often an early target of Adebayo from those passes out of the post. Trying to create separation, not a good idea for Mikhail Seals, as he was rejected emphatically by Lonzo Ball. Looks like Seals is pushing off. Look at him, he's pushing off the defender. 90 seconds left in the opening quarter. Seals, this time, splits the defense, spread wide, and scores. And a foul on the floor, Elijah Scott. In their pace on High Point Christian. Uh, it's not a beautiful release, but it is beautiful to hear it splash through the net. LaMelo Ball, the freshman for three. Seekers has it. Has it taken away? Lonzo Ball, one-handed pass up ahead. LaMelo with the lay-in. Oh, it's beautiful to watch. You're going to get beat for layups all game long. Graves with the pull-up. And he splashes it in the face of Leangelo Ball. Ty Graves is going to help Boston College. That's for sure. Leangelo does not connect. Elijah Scott, unboxed out, is there to clean it up. They haven't made it exciting. Alonzo Ball always getting the assist to his brother, Melo Ball. High Point Christian is up, though, six. And Chino Hills down by six. But they are a team of brothers. Lonzo, Leangelo, LaMelo, power ballers. A winning lottery ticket was even sold in Chino Hills. How apropos. Lonzo Ball, the absolute best passer in the high school game. Angelo, not afraid to shoot it and put it up. And Melo, he may have the best distance on the jump shot of all, the class of, can you believe it, Mike? 2019. He's been playing with his brothers on under 17 AAU since he was 11. Three from one doesn't go, give it to the other one. Lonzo Ball from deep makes it a three-point game. Like that was well, it's LeVar Ball, who is the architect of this whole family, and he's standing by with Jeff Goodman, the dad of the three brothers. All right, so LeVar, you were kind of the orchestrator, the architect of this style. The boys have played together all their lives. How did, how did you come up with this? Man, they're so skilled at shooting, and I figure if you can shoot the ball, more times than the other team. Like I said, some teams can go 20 out of 30. We're trying to go 40 out of 100. How do these guys stay in the shape that they're in to be able to play this way? Just running heels and conditioning their bodies for this. And it's like I said, this pace right here, you got to be able to play the whole game with no stops. You run in the hills with them? Oh, no, I've done my time. I, I got to stay at the, at the top to, to clock them. <laughs> You, you were saying before, first half doesn't matter. First half don't matter whether we up 20 or down 20. It don't matter. You got to play another half. We, we just getting them tired right now. Their legs will be gone second half, then we'll roll again. So we're making them use all their energy right now. Here you go. Now look at this right here. Bang, bang. That's what we do. So we, we finna play for them. They finna finish in a minute. They'll be done in a minute. Half time, they'll be tired. Thanks a lot, LeVar. Appreciate it. Their style of play reminds me of Loyola Marymount, Paul Westhead, back in the 90s. It was run and gun, run and chuck, let you score just so they could take it out and go down the floor again. To the corner, three, bang, bang. Some high major offers, blue, 11 in the blue. Oh, it's another triple, Lonzo Ball. Oh, so good. I could find 10 guys for the top five spots. 
Mike, oh. there are impact guys in this class. Miles Bridges, Josh Jackson. Come off a screen or you cut to the basket. You better have your hands ready. It's like watching a video game. It is. I'm not sure I can live with that shot as a head coach, but that's Steve Alford's job next year. Elijah Scott cleans up the miss and gets fouled while doing it. That's where I think you can beat Chino Hills by owning the glass. That's Look a beautiful drop off. Lonzo to Liangelo. Lonzo Ball with a Jason Kidd like pass to his younger brother. Well, surprise, surprise. Angelo Mello, no conscience, no range. The little Mello has some NBA range. I love the way he catches it quick and a quick release. Distance is not a factor with the Ball Brothers. There's, but I would play some zone just to try to slow them down. I don't think it will slow them down, but they may think twice before they shoot it. Leangelo with a three right over the top of Seegers, 12 now for the junior who's verbally committed to UCLA. And the kick to the wing, Graves the triple. Lonzo, Leangelo, fundamentally sound. In a game? I have no idea. Zero? Three. <laughs> Three. A flat, usually flat, which is more of an isolation for Lonzo, screen and roll, and circle. That's it. And that's a goal 10, so count the basket for Elijah Scott. The ball circuit in high school basketball as well. Have you encountered a team either in the summer or high school level that plays this way? You throw a 75-foot baseball pass and two guys that would leak out on either wing that could shoot the ball like his brothers can. Cameron Shelton, the sophomore, has just come onto the floor for the first time. Bam went up to get it. The ball was still on the cylinder. All he knows, Bam out of bio, 13 in the blue, who's headed to Kentucky, is go get it off the rim and be first. Here he comes and scores to Paul High Point Christian within four. Out of bio now with nine. Getting ready for second half action, the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase at the 15th annual Spalding. Hoop Hall Classic, 16 minutes to play today as we remember the life and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Chino Hills, number one team in the country with a four point lead over a high point Christian, my cousins, Paul Biancardi, and we've watched a lot of great passing and three point shooting from Chino Hills. Well, that's how they beat you with the touchdown passes, a few layups, and a lot of three point shots. Look at that no look pass from Lonzo to Leangelo. He gets it off the rim quick. He looks up ahead. When he's rebounding the ball, he knows he's throwing the outlet. Lonzo Ball, one of the best passes we've seen in a long time from the point guard position. Geico first half stats, nearing a double-double for Bam Adebayo, number six in the country. And for Lonzo Ball, six points, five assists. The leading scorer, his brother Leangelo, the junior, who's verbally committed to UCLA, 14. Again, first half stats. Brought to you by Geico. So Chino Hills, that second quarter, went on a 26 to 16 run to put themselves out in front. Make our share. Absolutely. If you score 100, they'll <laughs> score 105. <laughs> Leangelo, 17. The percentage of the things he does really well is a lot higher than his mistakes. Lonzo Ball just picked up his second foul. Now a baseline drive, nice reverse lay-in. For Reese Bogan, who's knocked down a couple of threes as well. Yeah, he keeps you honest. You know, he, he can get on. He's a little streaky, but he's streaky bad and streaky good. And when he's streaky good, you know, um, they didn't do pretty much a national uh, travel circuit schedule. But stands in his shadow at six foot nine. Quick pull up from Ty Graves, misses the mark. A one handed pass down court. Lamelo. Oh, my goodness. The second time they've done it tonight. Well, to use the touch, the football term, this is a touchdown. We're in Patriots country. How about the catch and the finish by LaMelo? He didn't waste any time, but Lonzo, the ability to save it, throw it. And Reggie, that was an accurate pass. Instead, it's a three try from Hewitt Jr. On the weak side, the rebound and the stick back for Jalen Seegers. Well, he is in the game. 
Well, the, the pace that Chino Hills plays with. If I beat Kentucky and I had that salary, I'll pay that fine. And you know what? I want to pay it again. I want the court to storm, the court to storm again. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sometimes those victories are a little expensive. That's However, right. the, <laughs> next, the next time it happens is a quarter million dollars. So yes, he has it. I coached against him in the Horizon League. He plays a very difficult style to play against. Three-point shot for Lonzo Ball. He'll press the whole game. He's taping it into his style of play. You know, he learned from Dr. Tom Davis. And there is the Bam Adebayo that fans expected to see. One, let's go back once again to Jeff Goodman. All right, LeVar, you said this second half, it was going to look this way. You're up 16. Yeah. Why? We're just playing right now. Like I said, we got the fastest car in the race. Everybody that plays good is going to tap out at 80. We don't tap out till 100. You said your boys don't even look at the score. We never look at the score. We see how many steals we can get and how many threes we can put in that basket. I want to know, where did Lonzo get that arm? Baseball, was he a pitcher? No, he was a pitcher, a thrower, anything you want to be, a quarterback. He's always throwing that long pass, because I said the ball moves faster in the air. Uh-oh. What do you got there? No bang, bang? Bang, bang! <laughs> and with that, back to you guys. At 9 Eastern, it's on Watch ESPN, and on your ESPN app, Okongwu gets to Kentucky, a close second. It's going to be a great game. At a bio, flushes it through. I think I'm going to go with LSU with the ultimate playmaker. Once a shooter, I, I always love, a shooter. Love to make him take it out of bounds. Lamella, the freshman, splashes it in from the corner. Bam running the lane, has it tipped away. Here comes Scott feeding ahead for Leangelo. Back down the lane, and Scott with the finger roll. See, they get down the court so fast, Chino Hills. You know, Bam Adebayo plays with a great motor. He can't even get back in time. Here with Chino Hills, number one in the USA Today Super 25. Those will also change this week as well. You know, the high school rankings, team rankings will change. Leangelo with a jump stop and puts it through. It's short. Scott knocked it loose, and Lonzo recollects, drops it off. What a dime for Okamu. Tries to take down High Point Christian for the second time this season. And Michael Hewitt Jr. with the three point basket. LaMelo Ball, NBA range three. To the corner. Bam, trying for the highlight reel follow. And now it looks like High Point Christian has somewhat fallen into the trap of the high paced three point game that Chino Hills has perfected. Yeah. Now Chino Hill's gonna take a lot of bad shots, which could get the opposition right back in the game, Mike. When he hurt his arm shooting. <laughs> These guys <laughs> shoot would not so be many surprise. shots, I know. A dislocated kneecap for him. Ball with the left hand makes it 82-58. Number one, Chino Hills, 82-58 right now as we close out the fourth over High Point Christian. Back here at Blake Arena in Springfield, Mass. Mike Cousins, Paul Biancardi. What has impressed you the most about what Chino Hills has done tonight? The ability to pass the ball. They look to make the next pass to get the open shot, and they take a lot of shots. Lonzo Ball is the most exciting player in the high school game. Check him out right now. The way he passes the ball. Look at the vision. He knows where he's going to throw it, and he delivers it on time, on target, for the alley-oop dunk. He makes everybody else better. Look at the communication on the sideline out of bounds. No words, but eye contact leads to a basket. And in transition, there's nobody better in the senior class than Lonzo Ball. He'll put the ball in your hands as he makes passes for baskets. Senior Tony Parker, Thomas Welsh getting better. Jonah Bolden can shoot it. So I think UCLA with Lonzo Ball, they could be a legitimate Final Four team next year. There's no question about it, Jeff, and they're going to have all the offensive weapons, and T.J. Leaf is an excellent passing big man, but Lonzo Ball is going to have to cut out some of his flashiness when he gets to the college levels for good college teams that get back on defense. You don't want to change his game. You just want to make him more efficient. Leangelo for three. Bam Adebayo. With the kick out, Ty Graves, a long ball-esque three. God, it's going to keep rotating. Nobody has looked unbeatable. Nobody's going to look unbeatable. 
I was in Morgantown this past week when West Virginia. 24. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. Wow. To the corner for LaMelo. And an easy stick back for Onyeka Okongwu. Well, now it's official. Lonzo Ball with his last rebound, a triple-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 18 assists. You know, he makes his teammates better, but more importantly, Mike, he makes his team win. Chino Hill's undefeated right now in high school basketball, and they've played some big-time teams. They've played this high-point Christian team twice. They're about to sweep them today. Every year, also picked up a win at another prestigious tournament in California. Trying to hit 100, that's a pass off the bottom of the backboard. They're just playing volleyball with each other underneath the basket, nobody's boxing out. That understands ball control offense and transition defense to challenge Chino Hills. Well coached is certainly one part of it. Hewitt wants three, he's got it. Triple-double Lonzo Ball. Number 11 player in the ESPN 100. 15, 10, and 18 assists. Class that Steve Alford and his staff have put together. Outstanding. Offensive rebound, and there it is! 100 points as Nicholas Manor Hall, the freshman, brings it to the century mark. Grant Truman air balls the three. It's another offensive rebound for Chino Hills. And out on the breakaway, Amadou Bamba flushes it through. So we had overtime in game number one. And in game number four, one equally exciting to match as the number one team in the country came to play. Chino Hills stays 16 and 0, a triple double for number 11 in the ESPN 100, Lonzo Ball, and Chino Hills wins it in convincing fashion, 100 to 75. We got the three boys. First of all, what do you, what do you think of your three boys today? They got 100. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking. But they perform like that for me ever since they've been little kids. So it's nothing new to me. I'm just glad all the fans got to see their style out here. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. You said you were you were cool in the pregame interview. You're an energy guy. Show me some energy. What did this mean for you, staying number one? Oh, it's a great win, and we get to keep our number one in the nation. All right, Lonzo, you're 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 the cool guy. You're the elder statesman of the group here. How do you stop you guys? What what is the what is the way to try to stop you guys? You know, I can't really answer that because ain't nobody done it this year, and I'm about to give out no secrets. So, you know, everybody can try, but they're probably not going to win. Jello, how's your head? I mean, you took a pretty good fall there. You got a knot right there. I see it. It's pretty good. You're, you're a tough guy, though. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, the fouls, I get fouls like that all the time, so I'm always ready for them. It didn't bother me. All right, Lonzo, Spalding player of the game. You got it over your brothers. Triple double. What what does it mean for you to do this with your family? To do it with your brothers? With your dad yelling every every five seconds from the crowd, what's this like to play this style, be successful, and win? You know, there's really no words for it. You know, we get to play on the court and go home and talk about it all night. Uh, like you said, it's a family thing, so it's just great. We get to share it throughout the whole family, and as long as we keep moving forward, we'll be all right. All right. I still think Melo's got the best haircut, by the way, of the three. Maybe LeVar, I can't tell. What do you got there? What is the ball head? Get it the ball head. Back to you guys. Oh, thanks. Incredible, unbelievable, soon to be Moneyball. <laughs> These guys certainly getting it done.